Hey guys, this is episode number 8 in Paper World Tutorials. In this episode we will talk about using transitions included in Paper World template. With transitions you can add interest to your video and these are a big trend right now also among YouTube vloggers. So let's take a look at how to use these transitions. You can find all transitions in this template uh, on project panel uh, in folder 7 transitions and you can see here are three types of transitions shape, simple and distort. So uh, let's uh, have a look at these first ones. Mm, we will pick this round shape transition to demonstrate how to use it. And I have made a very simple edit uh, composition here, just two scenes. And right now when we look at this we can see that there is a simple cut. One scene ends and the other one starts here and uh, we will now drag our round shape transition on top of these layers. So there are two ways to use these shape transitions. The first is just to cover up your cut moment in timeline and to use this uh, this way we will drag our uh, shape transition layer so that the cut marker is exactly where our cut takes place in timeline. And here you can see it added a new layer over your scenes. So uh, this will just uh, animate in and animate out and it will um, uh, give an F extra like a paper layer over your footage or scenes. And when we go inside this uh, round composition, uh, round um, transition you can now see that there are different uh, settings here you can change. You can change the colors and also the shadow settings. And you can replace this paper texture, uh, for example with animated paper or vintage paper. Uh, animated paper will give an extra motion to your video. So we close this and go back to our shape transitions edit composition and now there is a second way you can use shape transitions uh, to use these as track mats over uh, your um, scenes to reveal these. So uh, let's say uh, we want to reveal this um, second scene. Um, for that we need our scenes to be overlapping so we drag this fir uh, second scene to start where to start exactly where our transition starts and uh, the first scene needs to be ending exactly where the cut marker is so we'll go here And now when we solo this uh, round shape transition and go back in time a bit, we see that there is part of it is uh, transparent. So we want to use this transparency uh, to uh, show our first scene. And uh, when the transition comes in, the first scene uh, disappears. That's what we want to do. So to do that, we will just, uh, after the placement of the scenes, turn uh, the track mat mode of the first scene to alpha inverted mat and now when we make a ramp review we can see that it works um, as a track mat for our scene so when one scene comes in the other is going out But let's say we want to use this uh, uh, the other way around so that uh, the second scene is revealing from the center part of the composition. Then we can use this second part of the transition here and uh, we drag this um, transition composition so that the cut marker will be the at the start time of our transition here. And now we also have to uh, drag this uh, second scene to be the top layer, top scene. 
and we also will change this uh, track mat uh, mode back to no track mat and instead turn the track mat mode of the second layer to alpha inverted mat and we also have to make sure that our first scene is ending the same place where our transition layer ends like this so now you can see here that the second scene is coming in from the center part of the composition and now I will show you about the simple transitions how to use these and here is the same uh, simple edit two scenes just cut together here and here you can see there are six different uh, uh, kind of uh, simple transitions and uh, these are used the same way exactly as shape transitions so we will again drag this uh, first round one on top of our to be the top layer of our um, over our scenes and we make sure that this uh, cut marker is exactly where we want our transition to be ending but there is one difference this uh, simple transitions don't really have any texture uh, so they are really better to use only as track mats and to do that our scenes need to be overlapping so we will drag the second layer second scene to start where our transition layer starts and make sure that the first scene will end at cut marker time exactly so now we can turn this track mat mode of the first scene to alpha inverted mat again like we did before So when we preview this you can see that uh, these simple transitions are much more softer than were shape transitions and give a more dreamlike look uh, if you are aiming for that. And then we'll also see how distort transitions work. And there we have another uh, simple cut edit here of two scenes. And for distort transitions you don't have your uh, uh, scenes, your scenes don't have to overlap at all, so just place them as, as you would usually do a cut. And now we can drag these, um, uh, any of these over our scenes. And there are three types of distort transitions here, whip, zoom and warp, as they are named here. And we'll use this whip transition up. So it went to the wrong place in between the layers. It has to be a top layer. And we'll drag it so that the cut marker again is at the time exactly where our cut happens on timeline. So we need to use this collapse transformations switch to for these distort transitions to work at all. So remember, drag it on top of your scenes and then I will turn on this collapse transformation switch and now when we make a ramp preview we can see how it looks. So when we view this we can see that it uh, looks like uh, the camera is moving up and you are going to another uh, another environment uh, from one scene to another and there are eight directions here to use uh, for whip transitions and on the distort transitions there are two more folders here zoom and warp and uh, these are used the same way as I showed you for whip uh, you can uh, also open these uh, zoom transitions and you can see there is a controls layer where you also can change the zoom target point and this is also uh, there for zoom out target transition. So there are 
the additional three warp transitions here. And don't try to replace these uh, when you are uh, testing what suits best for your scenes because these are with different durations. So just delete or uh, just delete the old one and drag a new one on top of your scenes and try it out then. Okay, this was about transitions. There are 28 transitions which you can use to make your video better in Paper World Pack. And uh, this was episode number 8. The next one will be uh, about creators included with Paper World. Thank you so much for watching and please also subscribe if you want to get notified when we add more tutorials. Bye!